M0FXP, welcome to my channel, Yesu FT5, and we're going to import some repeaters from the repeater book selection in Chirp. First thing you do is get yourself a cable and put your radio into clone mode. The cable is the CT62. So to go into clone mode, you just turn off the radio, hold the two arrows on top where it says mode, two arrows right and left, and turn, up, turn the radio on. Of course, connect your radio to the rear, the USB cable to the rear connection here. Be very careful putting that in. Once you've done that, now you can open up your Chirp software, right click device manager here, check what COM port number you're using. Go to COM, double click and you've got COM port three. Okay, now we'll open the software that we downloaded earlier. Which looks like this, then we'll select our radio. So we go radio, download, actually we won't download from the radio yet. We'll firstly, we'll import the data we need from repeater books. So go down to radio, query data source, and then go across down to repeater book, and then across down to repeater proximity query. Click that, and at this point we can put in our town distance 70 centimeters, and we'll click OK. And it creates another tab, and within that tab we've got these repeaters. Now, we don't want the, uh, the digital ones, so we'll just delete the digital ones. Just go right click and click Cut. Okay, so we've now got them. Now, just to copy them, we the way you do it is you click the top one, hold the shift on your computer with the up arrow shift, then click on the bottom bottom one, and then you can right click and copy. So, but first of all, we're going to now read our radio. So we're in clone mode. We'll go radio, and we'll go download from radio. In this small window here, we'll select the COM three that we know about, Yesu, with a long drop down, and then eight five seven, and click OK. You'll get some instructions. We're already in clone mode by holding down the two arrows and turning on the radio. And on the front of the radio, the C button says. Uh, says send so we're going to click OK and then send we we'll click OK send and it starts to send and what we'll do we'll, a new window will open with all the contents of our radio okay so here's here's our radio where it says Yesu 857897 so we're going to add some of these repeaters just underneath here Okay, so what we'll do, we'll go back to repeater book, click the top one, click where it says, oh, oh, sorry about that, so hold the shift, click the top one and the bottom one, holding the shift is really important, then copy, then go back to the tab to the right, look, remember there's two tabs, click the spare channel we've got, which is number eight, now we'll hit the shift button again, we'll right click and go paste. Oh, it's telling us that some are DV. I'll just click OK. It still puts them in there. You see the way I did that? I'll do that again. Right click, paste, and it'll come up with the same error. But it's because, you know, it's not a digital radio. You could change these, look, to uh, FM. There it is there at the bottom. And here, FM. Just for now. Right, OK, so now we've got everything in there. Now we're going to write this to the radio. Now, this can be a bit tricky. You have to try it a couple of times. So we'll go radio, and you'll get some errors. We'll go radio, upload to radio. Same process, but this time you press the RCV, so the radio is receiving the data. You have to be quite fast. You have to click OK, then receive. And if it doesn't work, just do it again. So click OK, receive. You have to be really fast. OK, receive. And it's done it, yeah? And that's good. So now the radio is going to get all those memory channels from repeater book. So that's it. So the search that you do is, is on the repeater book section here. When you go radio, data source, repeater book, proximity, you can decide where in the world, the distance and the, the, the mode. Look, you've got different modes here. There's also other things that you can import as well. Uh, if you click here, it's just going into slow motion now. But there are other things. I'm just going to ignore that for now. If we go radio, query, look, you've got radio reference. 
that's your repeater book, R finder, D mark repeaters. The other thing you can do, you can export and import a file. So if you go export, it will create a CSV file, which you can use on other radios, and so on and so on. Upload, import, query, import from stock file. Look at this. PMR channel, just give it a go. Okay. Let's click OK. And then we'll, let's select all them and put them into our radio just for fun. Hold Shift. We'll click the top one here. Then we'll go to the... Oh, there's quite a few. Uh, anyway, click the bottom one for now. Copy. Then go back to our tab. Our radio tab. Here. Click the bottom one. Has it already put them in there? It says 857 repeater book. So it might have already added them in there. So okay, that's fine. Let's try and send it to the radio again. So we've got radio, upload. Okay, our finger ready. I'll we'll get it back into clone mode. Turn it off. Hold down the right and left arrows. Turn it on. We're in clone mode. Get our finger ready on the receive. Click OK. OK, receive. And it's doing it. And we're going to have all these PMR channels. So our, our radio is now going to be full of items. That's good. And we'll go into memory mode. And we've, we're going to now have loads of menus that we, memories that we never use. They are PMR luck. Can you see that? And then the other one, just to write a channel, it's simple. You just double click. Put in the frequencies you want. Let's do GB3FI. So we go 4, 3. Oh, we've lost that one there. Just find that a sec. 4, 430.925. Okay. And we'll give it a name. Sorry, there's so many memories in it. It keeps jumping me past the memories. G. P, 3, F, I. Tone. Tone squelch. Duplex plus shift. It's FM channel. That's it, I think. Tone plus shift. I'm just looking to see whether... Oh, there's the offset. So that'll be here. You want 7.6. So we'll go seven and then six. Delete six. That's it. You've got everything there. You can select the tuning steps as well. And again, just go radio, upload to radio, get your finger ready, get into clone mode to so turn it off. Turn it on after pressing the arrows. You're in clone mode. Put your finger on receive. Click OK. OK, receive. And that's it. So thanks for watching my channel. Hope this helps you with chirp. Peter Book and your Yesu 857. 73, all the best.